We were actually having dinner when the impact happened, and we we listened to the crunch of us hitting the rock and of all the dinner plates hitting the ground and the initial tilt of the boat and started running out of the place because we knew something bad was happening. Myself and another friend ran to our cabin first and grabbed a few essential items before going to the lifeboat. Okay. Well, what'd you get? What made you go to a cabin instead of the lifeboat? Know. <laughs> I don't know what made us go there, but I'm glad we did because I managed to change out of my formal dinner wear mm. and put on something a little more practical for climbing out of a cruise ship. The announcements overhead were saying, ladies and gentlemen, this is just an electrical problem. We have it under control. We'll be back up and running in no time. And that message happened several times, and it wasn't until the lean of the ship was so intense that you started to get seasick that you thought, there's no way we can recover from this. And that's when we grabbed life vests and made a run for it. It was so chaotic and no organization, and everyone was basically fighting for his or her own life at that point. And the pulley system, and they didn't know how to work it very well, and suddenly you would be sitting in the boat and your boat would drop suddenly five feet down, and you just didn't know if it would ever stop until it hit the water. It, it was really terrifying. Did you, I mean, did you really have that thought in your mind that I might die here? Uh, that, that was the only time I thought when I was sitting in that lifeboat, basically in the hands of the whatever crew was working my lifeboat. I thought that was, that I thought, well, this, this might be it.